left off on a real cliffhanger last time. Thorkel is coming. Did we get to see the spear incident again? I'll watch it again. I'll watch it again. And I'll enjoy it. Oh, no spear incident. <laughs> oh well. It will live forever in my heart. More importantly, the mutiny. Oh, he found some booze in the commotion. <laughs> Damn, the boldness. The balls on this guy. Anyway, Ragnarok is coming. Thorfinn, my loyal dog. Damn, this setup though. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. It's so exciting. But who will be giving their asses to whom? Oh, it was all there. Ragnar, Ragnar disappears in the snow. I shouldn't be paying attention to the opening at this level of detail. What's with the apple? This opening just gets better the more I watch it. A lot of people disappear in the snow. Interesting. Well, Ragnarok is coming, so... We're all gone soon. No, how are you gonna cut away from the action? Episode 17, Servant. Ask Glad backstory? His sick mother? Is Avalon... Ooh, I like Avalon! Avalon looks more fun than Vinland. That was a lot of Avalon. <laughs> that was a lot of fan service Avalon. All these legends and myths. They're intersecting. We got Heaven and Hell, we have Ragnarok, we have Vinland, and we have now Avalon. We slaughtered together. We carried a boat that one time. That was fun. I'm actually not one of you. We don't care about you. He really is the sort of his ancestor. Whoa, a little reminder. Asclad doesn't fight often, but he's a warrior with a sword himself. There it is. Yeah, Thorfinn's been set up well enough to make this believable. The knife throwing makes a return. Jorn loyal, of course. But now, I mean, four against the rest of them. He, Asla just thinned them out a little bit. Oh no! Oh no! Take it off the cloak! If I gotta do it, I gotta do it. I want to start with I think when he sees this. Yeah. Time to attack, right? That was the perfect time. <laughs> They're robbing me of my glory. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone else wants to hang back. Let it play out, but not Thorkel. He's truly loyal. <laughs> and I mean, honestly, he's betting on the right person. Man, I hate the animal violence. <laughs> Kendu takes a tumble. He messed up. Yeah, that was a big mistake. Is he going back for Asclad? That just leaves Bjorn and these men. I was wondering if he was going to do the mushrooms. These incredibly fast acting mushrooms. He's about to go berserker mode. He's going to end up saving Asclad. Is that all it is, though? Is that all it is, Thorfinn? That's not all he cares about. A mere 50 men. <laughs> That's so great. The warriors in the show, man, they're unreal. The eye gouge. 
もうすぐトラケル軍が来て大混乱になる Damn, that's crazy. Whoa! Very different level of skill there. Yep. Even tired. This <laughs> is calm. You want to just keep it calm? This is just a meditative exercise. Why didn't they try this from the beginning? We've already lost in a sense. A bargaining kicks in. This guy's like Walter White and his ability to last minute save his own life. Oh, we got hit a lot. But nothing vital. Betting it all for his cause. A shot at glory. I keep seeing his mom. That was wrong. He didn't just want chaos. He wanted something much bigger. Is this it for Asclad? This might actually be it. No one wants to be the one. Oh no! Out of the frying pan into the fire. And just as Thorfinn shows up. So many sides right now. So many different angles. Okay, I thought it was over. <laughs> I got scared for a second. <laughs> Like ten feet tall. Oh, Torugrim, Tenda. Take a wash, Ne. Hanashi, O Kite, Gure. It doesn't matter if you resist or not. Doesn't matter how much you struggle. Ore tachi, Anta ni Oji o hiki watasou to omotte tanda ga. Koitsu, Shuryo no Ashira to ga Oji o nigashi shibatte. This is like God talking to a bunch of ants. Kedare o jiunin otte ni dashita. All Thorgal hears is me, 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 me. It's like the parents of Peanuts. Thork also can judge faces, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> it's just Dragon Ball Z sound effects just for standing up. Oh no! Oh no! That turned around so fast. You goofed. How humiliating. Backs against the wall. The hell are we are coming? <laughs> oh my god. Me, 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 me. I'm shocked that he survived that discussion. Oh, yeah. Oh no, can you imagine? Can you imagine the, the terror? Okay, now you have it in your hands. Goodbye. <laughs> Little calisthenics. Let's get warmed up. Oh no, and ask us there to taunt him. <laughs> yeah, unbelievable terror. The horrors. Speaking of the devil. Never get to Valhalla that way. He's broken. You weren't cut out for this life, Torgrim. His soul just left his body. Thorfinn here to the rescue. Playing GTA with a horse. Crazy, he's now... Fighting in defense of Asclad. <laughs> He's just shoryuking that horse. The horse didn't deserve it. He didn't deserve to get one punch like that. The horse is just dead. My daddy, I mean, my catch.
<laughs> He's pretty crazy. He's in pretty deep. This is worth taking a break from pummeling this guy's face. That's what I wanted to hear. Thorfinn wants a duel with Asklad, and Thorgal wants a duel with Thorfinn. We're having a great day. This is the duel before the duel. I thought he's been reflecting on what went wrong, how he fought. How he got twirled around like a like a rag doll. Please don't cliffhanger me. Please don't cliffhanger me. Damn it. <laughs> I knew it. I hate it. So good though. It's so fun. This show's had a lot of great action from the beginning, but this sequence is something else. This whole saga. It's so much more exciting at this point, given the fact that the characters are I'm not gonna say lovable. They're not I don't love them. I'm very invested in them. I'm fascinated by them. Asklad is such a great, great character for being so terrible, but so amazing at the same time. Thorgal is just a force, the force of nature. I, I, it's like hard for me to think of characters as terrifying in shows. And as weird as it is, it's the stroke of genius having the Thorfinn and Asklad relationship be what it is. It's not what Thorfinn thinks it is or is saying it is clearly, but is more like a, an actual bond, you know? They, they really do feel like father and son in a way. And this is a real turning point for the relationship if Thorfinn manages to save Asklad, which I, I think he will? That's sort of it, right? I don't know. Especially for Asgard's conception of Thorfinn. This straggly kid who hitched a ride on the boat and has sort of just been a disposable henchman for so long now is the salvation for him, as well as probably his best fighter and one of his only fighters now that his whole crew is going to be wiped out or has just been wiped out. It's so cool. And it's also keeping me on my toes. I'm not sure how it's going to go down. I can see it happening a bunch of different ways. It feels like we're entering a zone of really high stakes. It's possible that Thorfinn takes out Thorkel even, which would be huge. But overall, the show did such a great job laying the foundation, laying the groundwork for the characters and the plot and the stakes, and then just sort of having us on this, this ride where even past this, I can see there's a really long and exciting journey ahead of them.